St. Jude Hospital operations have been housed in the George Odlum Stadium for more than 13 years. The St. Jude Hospital Board of Directors, led by Chairperson Lucius Elevik, is confronted with a myriad of challenges. Hospital employees continue to endure substandard occupational conditions, and the structural integrity of the stadium itself continues to deteriorate. Committed to alleviating the issues affecting the St. Jude Hospital, Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre allocated more than $1.5 million in his maiden budget for remedial works on the George Odlum Stadium. That money has addressed some of the more urgent concerns at the hospital. We were indeed thankful in terms of the $1.5 million that was allocated to St. Jude to kind of address and to some extent remedy some of the infrastructural difficulties we are encountering at this location. So we think that went a long way in helping us even instill confidence in the persons coming here in terms of the debris that are likely to, to be flown off of the roof. And then there's a psychological effect of coming to a hospital and you see some rusted, galvanized so then, yes, it has that kind of psychological impact. And we think that even the, the, the personnel, the doctors and the nurses, also had some complaints, meaningful issues, in terms of their accommodation. And we were able to do some work in the, in the lunch rooms. We were some, able to do some work in the sleeping quarters. So we think all put together, it would actually impact the quality of care that our service personnel would render to our patients when they visit here. Honorable Peer, on October 18th, held an audience with members of the Board of Directors for the St. Jude Hospital. Board members and the Prime Minister engaged in fruitful dialogue and exchanged views on St. Jude Hospital operations. Honorable Peer, who was also joined by the Minister for Health, apprised board members of his administration's plans to transfer St. Jude Hospital operations out of the George Odlum Stadium to more suitable facilities. In September, Honorable Pierre announced external work on the original construction site, which was abandoned in 2016, will resume in November. The Prime Minister's announcement was welcomed by St. Jude Hospital board members. We are presently on borrowed time. We are living here by the graces of God, and I think God gave us a brain, and we probably should use it actively. I say that to mean that, yes, we need to expedite the, the, the activities, the processes that will enable us to leave St. Jude and go over to Oje at, at our, let us call our premier site. We are very heartened to hear that work on the new facility, not a new facility, but let's call it our premier site, would commence in November. There's that air of expectation. What I would be happy to know is that that project move into what we call a project mode with some kind of log time frame, with a start date and an end date, and I think that would inspire confidence in a number of people in, in the South. An independent technical committee appointed last August was tasked with assessing both phases of the St. Jude Hospital construction project. The committee's report concluded construction on phase one or the original construction site could have been completed as early as 2017. Guided by the recommendations from multiple technical audits on the St. Jude Hospital construction project, Prime Minister Pierre has honored his commitment to St. Lucia and has actioned the most prudent, safest and immediate option to deliver the St. Jude Hospital to the people of St. Lucia. From the office of the Prime Minister, Rihani Isidore.